Hello, 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 and welcome to Roush Games uh, for a little bit of an impromptu recording this evening. Uh, I got home from work a little while ago. I'm quite tired, but I feel like oh, God, I feel like we are at the point in Roush Games' history where you know channel updates should happen, especially because I've got some you know fun, fun things in store for the future, and I've got questions coming in in comments now. So I'll put together a quick little video to address some of the questions and things I've been having. So right off the bat, uh, I'm going to start by thanking everyone for the insane welcome you've given my uh, WWE 13 universe mode to your, your daily YouTube watching habits. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm just going to go around. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I knew when I decided I was going to make a universe mode back when 13 first came out. I knew that, all right, yeah, we're just going to restart. I knew that I would uh, be pretty successful with it based on the ideas I had. I knew that at least someone out there would enjoy it. Um, and I'm, I'm just ecstatic that so many of you did. I mean, that video, at, at the time when that went up late last week, my videos were averaging maybe 30 views per. And that one got up to like 200 in the span of a day and a half. Got me a lot of subscribers, which, you know, I, I also very much appreciate. Uh, ooh, but I gotta, like, go through there. And it's just, I'm excited that you're all interested. Now, as soon as I put my introduction video out that everybody got interested about, I missed. Uh, <laughs> the questions started coming in. Where's episode one? Where's episode one, man? What's going on? And I totally just was not prepared to deal with that. Nor will I be for quite some time. Uh, I've mentioned in a few of my other videos, if you have not seen them, that I don't do this whole recording thing with the best possible setup. Um, oh, no! <laughs> um, I record all, all of my footage. I edit and record to my mid-2009 MacBook Pro laptop, 13-inch model. Uh, not exactly a stalwart in the game commentary realm, but regardless, it is the one that I have. Oh my god! Oh, you bastard! <laughs> um, and I mean, like, I've done a lot to make this a better computer than it was out of the box. I saved it from dying in 2011, and, you know, I've, I've never really looked back from there. But it does still only have its... Two gigabytes of built-in factory RAM. That's why. Okay, sorry. Well, but push there. It's only got its two gigs of factory built-in RAM. It's got the completely irreplaceable graphics card that is pretty inferior by today's standards. I mean, it is an NVIDIA, but it's it's a pretty old school one at this point. It's four years old. Um, so working in modern editing software is kind of tough. They tend to be RAM hogs, and even if you don't technically need a lot of RAM to run the programs. You're going to need it if you want to encode videos in any kind of reasonable amount of time. So being a Mac user, which every day I'm less and less inclined to continue being a Mac user, especially through this whole experience, I'm kind of limited in the software I can choose. I, I would love to go through Sony. I can't because it's Windows only. Um, I really wish, uh, you know... I understood running parallels. Man, I'm not going to beat this throughout this video. This is great. This is going to be the whole time we're here. I'll be on this one level. Uh, I wish I could do that. Uh, I try to avoid Adobe like the plague, only be the, like the plague, the plague, only because their software traditionally, their programs are just RAM hogs. <laughs> you know, you, and you do need lots of RAM to run them successfully. Not not even like a performance thing. So I'm kind of stuck at this point with the third best option, which for Mac users is going to be Final Cut Pro. Um, I'm not exactly happy with it, you know, but I have my free trial that I've been rocking out with, um, and that's what's gotten my channel started. And it, it's a fully featured free trial. It's not limited. It's not missing any features or anything like that. They are really cool about that. They don't watermark your videos. Oh, oh, that's painful. Oh, no. They don't watermark your videos or anything like that. Oh, Jesus. Um, and it, it's been cool. Everything that you see that is on my channel has gone through Final Cut Pro, the trial, to get up there. And I think it, it's nice. I, you know, I'm not going crazy with edits. Like, I, I can use simple transitions, and 
I like my my stupid little intro and outro. I think they're unique to me. And, you know, I like that about them. Oh, grab it, you bastard. Um, but here is the big problem I'm experiencing. All right, so with Final Cut Pro, any any other games that I've been rocking right now, uh, whether they are Minecraft or Game Dev Tycoon or even just playing Happy Wheels right now, they, they've been fine. You know, the, the encodes and uploads, they do take quite a long time. Uh, and I, I knew that was going to happen. Damn, I thought I had that one. Um, like a half hour long video of Minecraft. Once I'm done recording it with ScreenFlow, I have to export it to the Apple native .mov file, which typically takes about 45 minutes. And then I have to edit it, which for Minecraft is short and sweet. I'm, I'm recording my voice while I play it. I don't need to do a commentary. I don't need to a, need to do a voiceover. All I need to do are add the intro and the outro and make sure there aren't any large swaths of time where I'm not saying anything that I should otherwise get rid of. Uh, really only ever happens in my Sim series, uh, so hasn't really been much of a concern in anything else. And then uh, once it's done editing, I have to export it back into a .mp4 file, uh, H.264 encode, we've talked about this before, and then put it on YouTube because YouTube will not work with uh, .mov. Um, and frankly, the .mov files that Apple natively processes and wishes to edit in are just too large and too girthy and, and dumb and it's a stupid system and I hate it. But because I use Final Cut Pro, I have to use .mov files for editing. Um, I used to be able to do MP4s and then I started recording WWE 13 with my Hopage PBR, which you've also heard about on this channel before. Now. The Hopage PVR exports in a really funky string of native files. You've got three options, and they're all weird and off the beaten track. And the one that I'm doing is, uh, I think it's called m.m2ts or some, something along those lines. Like a really weird file name. Man, uh, this, is, this is not working well for, for Mr. Roush here. Um, the, now, the reason I choose m2ts is because of the three initial options out of the PVR, that is the one that encodes most easily to something like an MP4. And I did my research and none of them really encode that easily to .mov files. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. My research isn't always perfect. But, um, so it'll easily transcode things into an MP4 file in like a matter of minutes after the video is done recording. It really takes no time at all. They're very similar file structures apparently. And then I have to take that MP4, put it into Final Cut, edit, put it up to YouTube. Now, I wish I could just take an MP4 and put it into Final Cut and do that. Because anything that I record with, whether it's ScreenFlow on my Mac here or the Hopage PVR, any of those things natively export their videos in MP4. Final Cut will only agree with editing videos in MOV file names. Um, it works okay with things like half hour long Game Dev Tycoon or Minecraft if they're in MP4. But as I found out, there is something about the transition from M2TS into MP4 that kills my WWE videos if I don't first make them MOV files before putting them into Final Cut. There was a period last week where Final Cut wasn't loading for me for four days. That's why the first video didn't come out at all. Um, okay, I'm not even falling right anymore. This game hates me. Um, <laughs> oh man, I'm tired. But there were there were a couple days there where just Final Cut wouldn't even load as a program at all, and that's because I was trying to put my WWE 13 MP4s into the timeline and edit those directly, and you can't do that. That's a no no. And Final Cut vomited everywhere until I figured out that was the problem. So, with my lack of RAM, here is the issue I am having. I have to record all my WWE 13 games. And for those that don't know, um, I play that game once a week. I do not have a console in my apartment. I don't have an Xbox, I don't have a PlayStation. I think I have a Game Boy Advance lying around somewhere. That's pretty much it, just me and my laptop. The consoles I have, the PS3 and the Xbox 360, are both at home in my family's house in New Jersey. And I go home, uh, I'm kind of in a weird role in the family right now, but I go home to see them and make sure they're okay every week on Monday. and. One of the perks of doing that is that I get to play and record. 
And this is just, I, I'm pushing the button I'm supposed to push, man. So uh, I, I record all of my WWE video for an entire week on Monday. I mean, I'm typically at home playing for maybe five, six hours. And then I get back on the train. I go back across the river. I come over here and I immediately start editing and transcoding. So I take, well, we'll say, for instance, I have an hour long episode of Raw. Okay. One, one solid hour of gameplay to, in order to even get it into Final Cut Pro to then edit it, which is the only software I can use right now. Um, I have to put it through MPEG stream clip, which is the fastest, at least for MP4 into MOV file transcodings that I've, that I've come across. Uh, I could be wrong there as well. If I am, please give me a better option here. Um, so I put it into stream clip to turn it from an MP4 into a .mov file. This process, I kid you not, takes five hours because I only have two gigabytes of RAM. It is a known fact that in video encoding, more RAM will give you faster speeds. There are other factors at play as well, but RAM definitely helps the process. Man, he's just not falling the way he's supposed to right now. I'm, I'm perplexed. There you go. Um... So th that alone will take me five hours, okay? Now, because I have such little RAM, I can't really do anything else on my system while that video is encoding. So I've got Game Dev Tycoon, The Sims, Minecraft, other series that I would love to, you know, spend some time on. But when I have set my time for WWE 13, I have to see that through. So five hours pass, and one of my eight... WWE videos that I've recorded on Monday night is ready to be edited. It takes five hours to get one to that point, and it only moves one at a time. I can't do it as a batch. Um, so then, after the five hours are up, I take that one video, I import it into Final Cut Pro, I do all my editing, um, I cut all the matches down to size, I get rid of all the filler, all the stupid loading screens, things like that, and then that takes about you know a half hour, 40 minutes, depending on how precise I am. Uh, as soon as that is over, I add my commentary, which is the entire length of the episode, however long it is. It's typically going to be 45 minutes to an hour, I think. That's what I've got so far, at least. Man, he's like, all right, we're doing a new level. This game's not... Yeah, no, 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 we're going to keep going. We're gonna... This is the one. We're not going to go until we beat it. I love Happy Wheels. Um, so that takes about, all told, an hour and a half, editing and adding commentary. Because the oh that was bad luck. <laughs> because the rest of the world is normal and runs with a you know slimmer program for videos with the MP4 format, YouTube will not handle a .mov file. I have to optimize my my movies into the MP4 format again. I have to re-encode them, and encoding times coming out of Final Cut Pro are pretty notoriously slow. Um, so again, just getting this file back into an MP4 takes about another five hours if I choose to do it as a separate process. And then once it's an MP4, uploading it to YouTube via the browser is usually pretty fast within a half hour, 40 minutes, maybe an hour, depending on how long the actual video is and how much editing I put into it. <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ, that took forever. All right. Exit the menu. Um, now... I can do that. All right, now uh, let, let's let's think about my work schedule here. I get home on Monday night. I I don't want to do any stupid quizzes. <laughs> yeah, gentle hard, sweet. Um, so I get home on Monday night. This is another thing we're going to get to. This wonderful lag that happens. I'll talk about this in a second. So I get home on Monday night, and it's typically around, like, 6, 7 o'clock. Oh, okay, pick the mic, pick the mic next time, yay. Um, I tend to watch the WWE Raw while I'm doing my edits. And... That is... I, I, I take the stupid WWE video, I put it into MPEG stream clip, I begin to transform it into a .mov file, and I'm usually asleep because it takes five hours. So I will wake up at six o'clock in the morning. I will then do my edits. I'll get out my microphone. I'll eat breakfast first so my voice doesn't sound all stupid and choppy. 
And then we'll do a sword throw that's easy enough to do with this card. Oh man, this is moving so slow. Look at this crap, guys. Ugh. But anyway, we'll get to that in a second, the slowness in a second. So then I do my, my editing, my commentary, and then I export. Uh, I choose to go the actual, the way I just mentioned, where I can separately export the videos as MP4s and then put them up via the YouTube uploader. So you have to throw it when I let go of the sword, not, not after. There you go. Um, so I'll, I'll choose to do it that way. Yeah, there we go. All right, uh, that's good stuff. Um, and yeah, I'm sorry, I'm losing track of things here. I'm, I'm very tired. I will choose to do it that way. I'll have the video go to an MP4, and that takes another five hours. So from we'll say we're at 7:30 a.m. now. At 12:30 p.m., I can anticipate it being done. The problem is, by 12.30 p.m., I've already left my house to go to work for the night. I'm usually going food shopping or going to a secondary job that I have on my way to working in a restaurant. I work in that restaurant typically from 3 o'clock p.m. until 2 o'clock in the morning, just depending on how busy we are. It's, it's, it's a long shift, and I leave early. I walk through the city. You know, I take care of errands on the way there. Um, yeah, we'll just play this one for a while. It's, it's like fun. And that's it. So I usually have to leave my house while it is on its way to becoming an MP4. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see how far the torso goes. Meaning that I still have to come home later that night and put it up to YouTube manually. So from what's this Tuesday night, coming home on Monday night, my first video at the earliest is going to get up Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, I should say, around 4 o'clock a.m when none of you are awake anyway. So I choose to do it the other way, where I edit everything in Final Cut Pro, and I go through it, I make sure it's right, and then instead of exporting it to an MP4 and then uploading it to YouTube separately, I click the share to YouTube function from Final Cut Pro, except this takes even longer. Guys, I kid you not, transferring an MOV file from within Final Cut Pro and sharing it directly to YouTube will take me anywhere from 10 to 21 hours. Hey, that worked. Um, 10 to 21 hours. The longest I've had was 21, and I was flabbergasted by it. That was actually episode one of Universe Mode when that finally got up. So but it, it takes forever. But because my work schedule is odd, because I've been working more hours than usual, because there are people at work that are getting hurt and sick and having surgery right now, I'm covering a lot of shifts. It's what I have to do if I know I'm not going to be home for 17 hours. I've got to put the thing up and just let it go and take as long as it wants to. So my poor computer is running the whole time. I, you know, it has no chance to slow down. And after three days, I will get one video up. That's not very efficient for a series that's based around an actual week. And it's not my only series. The whole time that these WWE 13 games are... Oh, man, that was... <laughs> a very, very poor showing for my head and neck region there. Um, I, I still have all my other shows that I want to get done. And this series is supposed to be, you know, happening Monday through Friday. And it, it's just tough to do it all. So, after that long convoluted explanation where I stop talking a lot um, because I get distracted by games, <laughs> I just kind of want to let you guys know what the deal is with me doing WWE. It is tough for me to do this. My computer cannot handle an around-the-clock schedule of uploading wrestling video games. It's just, it, it's not what it was meant to do, and I'm trying to make it better. I'm trying to do what I can, but I can't really think of much. I can spend $50 to buy a compressor to go along with Final Cut Pro, and that's what many people use, there we go, to finally export their videos out to YouTube after they've been edited in Final Cut. It's supposed to really increase your encoding speeds because Apple knows that Final Cut does not have the fastest encoder, so Compressor is supposed to really help that. But the problem is I've spent a lot of money on my channel already, a lot, a lot, a lot, and I'm, you know, I'm not seeing a return on my investment. Guys, believe it or not, I'm not here for money. I'm here because I want to do this because it's fun. I like playing games. <laughs> um, and either way, I have nowhere near a point with this channel where I would make money. It's just, it, it's not even in my head at this point. So 
to think that I've spent as much money as I have without getting any kind of return on the huge investment, I can't really spend any more. I just actually, uh, as of Sunday, put down our, my first deposit on my new house with my girlfriend. We move in on July 15th. And we, we put $1,400 down on the place, and we owe the guy another 2100 come July 15th. Uh, <laughs> I can't really spend 50 bucks on software here and there. The other, you know, but let alone the fact that I'm still on my Final Cut Pro trial, that ends in like nine days, and then I have to pay $300. So I don't know what I'm going to do there. I'm pretty boned. Um, but I want you guys to know that even if the videos take me a long time to get up, it's not that I'm just sitting around thinking, oh, maybe I'll go back to that, you know, side venture I have on YouTube or something like that. No, no, I'm constantly either thinking about what I'm going to do next or <laughs> staring at my computer while it struggles to work with any of this and takes 37 hours to upload a 15 minute video. <laughs> um, there is always something being worked on though. It just, it can't be what I initially thought it was gonna be, which was five videos a week before considering the fact that I wanted WWE 13 to go every day as well. So I wanted 11 videos a week off the bat. I'm happy with the five I've been hitting. Uh, as of Friday, that was the end of my third week, and I had 15 videos, and that's perfect. It's exactly what I want. We're now in week four, and I hope I'm gonna have 20 by the end of this week. It would it would be nice. It's exactly where I want to be. Um, I do understand that you guys want to see certain things, and I'm so happy that WWE has become something that you all want to see. But I'm just gonna ask very nicely that you be patient with me in the early stages of this channel. I have, I think I'm up to 11 episodes of it recorded and just waiting to be edited, but the process takes a long time. As I mentioned, I was going to explain the choppiness of Happy Wheels. <laughs> well, the reason it's running slowly is because in the background, I am waiting for the episode of NXT that I owe you guys to properly encode an MPEG stream put before I can even put it into Final Cut and do anything with it. And it's been going for about... 20 minutes now, it's two o'clock in the morning and I'm gonna bring it into the front window. It is 10% completed, so 200 minutes. Not quite the five hours, but this is only about a 25 minute video too, so more RAM was gonna help me here. It definitely is, and it's, it's something that's on my radar to be purchased. Um, I just, at this point, cannot afford it. So what I want you guys to do, instead of getting mad at me, <laughs> I don't want that to be this channel. And I'm not saying that anybody has been mad at me. You have not. You've been great. You've subscribed to me. This is wonderful. I just want to make sure we're on the same page here. Instead of getting mad or anything like that or thinking like, he doesn't do what I want him to do. Just be patient and know that you are helping me build this channel. That just by being here, you're, you're helping. And frankly, if you tell more people to come here and and, and watch my things and, and do awesome things, stuff <laughs> it's only going to further convince me that i should be spending money on this channel look at how slow that was man and by spending money on this channel i mean things like you know upgrading the ram in my computer so that it can actually run things maybe buying a desktop when my girlfriend and i move in together that we can both use that i can use to record my stuff on maybe making that desktop a windows machine so i can afford to get Sony Vegas or even just work with Adobe with something that has the correct amounts of RAM. Okay, this is like, this is YouTube 101 here that I'm doing right now. I want to be the professor of YouTube when all is said and done. <laughs> I, I want to have an awesome channel. I want to have all consistently awesome videos. I don't want them to run slowly like this is doing or like The Sims 3 does. I want them to be cool and I need your help. You got to tell people, you got to help me grow. If I see more and more subscribers every day, I'm going to make it possible to spend the money. That, that's simply it. Because if people are watching me, it's because they like what I do. If people like what I do, I have to keep doing it. To keep doing it, I've got to upgrade and make the entire operation grander on a, on a larger scale. And you guys are going to be the ones that help me with that. I'm going to kill KB. Um, yeah. So, oh, yes. Oh, I press space too soon. There we go. So that's the rant on WWE 13. It is the series I am putting the most work into, and it is the hardest series for me to consistently put out for you guys. I am not forgetting about you. 
I uh, am going to keep it coming, and I just hope you guys keep enjoying it. So that's all there is about that. Now, on to point two of this little channel update with this horribly glitchy Happy Wheels because I've got no RAM. Um, Game Dev Tycoon. I put up episode 6 earlier today. It went live. I think like 15 people have watched it. I know, big stuff. Um, and I need a lot of comments on this video because we went bankrupt. <laughs> Spoiler alert! <laughs> um, we went bankrupt in episode 6. Funbox Incorporated is no more. And I had a lot of fun playing that game. But I'm also kind of a purist in the way that I want to play games. And I understand if you guys don't want to see that again. I have... Plenty of ideas for games that I want to put on here. Indie things, well-known things, whatever. And I'm just, you know, kind of waiting for opportunities to use them. However, I do feel as though that was kind of a short-lived series. And I, I really want to give it a proper chance if it's what you guys want. Uh, so I want you to comment in, on, in the comments section. Where else would you comment? Oh, yeah, right in the death hole. Oh, it's going to roll to nothing. Good. Um, whether or not you think I should retry on Game Dev Tycoon. It, it was fun. If I did retry, I would go back into it with a lot of the, you know, like, the swagger I promised in the last... Really? The swagger I prom... There you go. Just kill me now. Ah! <laughs> All right. I don't want to play that one anymore. Uh, like, I'm, I'm going to take notes, I'm going to know what games go well together and all of this fun stuff, and, you know. If you guys want that, let me know here, and we'll give it one more try, and we'll get a couple more videos out of it. We'll call it Season 2, I'll have my first season switch on my channel ever, and it'll be fun. So, that's what I want from you guys on this one. Um, yeah, I think that was pretty much it. I just wanted to talk about those two things, mainly WWE 13, because it's brought a lot of people to this channel. I know there are a lot of people who are only here to see that. I do make other videos, and I do honor those other series. I need you guys to know that. But I want you to be happy as well, and I really do want WWE 13 to be a big series for me. So I'm going to work on it. I'm going to let you guys know if any progress is made on anything like obtaining RAM. Maybe I get it cheap from someone. You know, maybe I find a new video editing program that doesn't... Oh, that was unfortunate. That doesn't require me to use Final Cut Pro because I hate it. Um, in the meantime, though, I'm going to keep doing things the way I have been doing them. I hope you guys continue to watch the things I do the way that I'm doing them. And I hope that together we do make this channel as big as you and I want it to be. So thank you very much. Comment on the things I asked you to comment. Keep coming back. I am going to scream at my computer until NXT is done encoding. And hopefully I'll be able to edit it tomorrow morning and get it out by tomorrow night. That is Wednesday, June 5th for those playing at home. In the meantime, I'm going to finish up this horrible Happy Wheels playthrough and hope that no one was offended by me choosing to play this awful, wonderful game. Um, yeah, you guys take it easy. Bye-bye. Footsteps. -bye. <laughs>